Hello everyone, today we are going to set up Corpin to the Anycubic Viper. As you can see, with help of the tool, we are going to remove the PTF tube from hotend and BMG extruder. After that, we are going to insert fittings to 7-in-1 module inlet and outlet. The next step is inserting blue PTFE tube to 7-in-1 module and hot end. As you can see on the video, the opening end of the blue PTFE tube must be put to 7-in-1 module very all the way in. And then we are going to insert blue PTFE tube to the hot end and then we are going to press all the way down. After that we are going to fix feeds to the copient. To do that we are going to use bolts which are metric 4 16 bolts. After putting bolts to feet, we can tighten them to co-print. The co-print should look like that. In this step, we are going to use two of metric 5 bolt and t nuts to secure co-print to the 3D printer. First of all, place metric 5 bolts to the co-print and then t nut to the tip of the metric 5 bolts. Place copy to the top of the 3D printer. And 
tighten them with the help of metric 5 Allen key. Now we are going to use seven fittings to tighten them cooperant. Be sure that you are not using tool to secure them to tighten them, otherwise they might get damaged. Next step is cutting PTFE tubes. Cut PTFE tubes to suitable lengths with your 3D printer and replace them to co-print fittings. Make sure that you push the PTFE tube all the way inside. The other sides of the PTFE tubes will be inserted to 7-in-1 module. Make sure that PTFE tubes are on good shape and they are not bended too much to let pass filament easily. We are recommending replacing PTFE tubes with an order. Now we are going to replace the limit switch. First of all, we have to set home on our 3D printer. After that, in the same page, we are going to send the head of the 3D printer to the to the 250 millimeters and then we are going to replace the switch to replace the switch we are using two-sided band now we are going to place the extended motor cable and then we are going to place the cable to cooperate and the switch cable as well. Let's power up the cooperant. After loading screen, cooperant will calibrate itself. To insert filaments, change from tool to seventh and then insert filament and connect your computer to a calibrate extruder. We are using Repetir host program to control our 3D printer. Our initial A step value is 94.3 and the result value should be 166.3 but be sure that when you is when you give 100 millimeters of filament the result of the filament is 100 millimeter 
as well until reaching that value keep processing as you can see the result is 100 percent from our website download our 3mf file and copy it app from the help center Also, you can download one of our models. After opening Prusa Slicer and importing 3MF, the page should look like this. As you can see, it's already pre-painted. You can directly slice it and save it. Let's give a name. After, co open Copyant app and then select our example file. And then select standard and set the limit switch position as 250 and press export this one should be inserted to the 3d printer and this text file should be inserted to the copyant module After starting print from our 3D printer, we can start printing from co-print module as well. As you can see, starting multicolor print with Co-print and any cubic wiper is very easy. See you on an another video.